A massive radioactive tailings pile right next to the Colorado River is being cleaned up by crews in Moab. Fox 13 News is partnering with the water desk at the University of Colorado Boulder to look in depth at where the project stands right now. Max Roth shows us what this means for the tens of millions of people downstream. The mill construction started in 1956, a place to process one of the most dangerous elements on Earth. Uranium for America's nuclear arsenal, the site right next to the Southwest's most important waterway, the Colorado River. When they established a mill, there wasn't very much thought given to protecting the river. The river that provides water to tens of millions of people and millions of acres of crops downstream. The process left behind waste products and tailings. That's a radioactive sand-like material that was 80 feet thick by 1998 when the mill owner went bankrupt. That left the federal government responsible for the toxic mess. So we're trying to protect basically the downstream constituents from this water flooding onto the tailings and moving it downstream. The process, digging up the tailings, hauling them in steel containers, and disposing of them at a site far from waterways, about a mile north of I-70 near Crescent Junction. They're capping it with nine feet of native soil and rock. On Google Earth time-lapse, in 2008, this is the desert near Crescent Junction, transformed by 2020 into a new landfill. It's a perfect area for a disposal cell. If you were to pick one, in the United States, it, it's very arid out there, very limited uh, rain, uh, very limited vegetation. For now, the mill site has groundwater wells to remove the uranium, ammonia, and other contaminants before they reach the river. Fox 13's Max Roth reporting there more than a decade of cleanup has cost $600 million, and they expect to keep working into the 2030s. They say the final bill will be about $1 billion.